Hello guys, welcome back to my NASAC YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In today's episode, I'm gonna continue my Oracle Cloud free tier instance setup. If you followed my previous video, you must already got your Oracle account and you must already spin up some Oracle instance. Just as I did here, I have a Ubuntu instance. In this episode, I'm going to focus how to create the console connection. As you can see from here, we can create in a serial console connection or VNC console connection using your public key or generate a new key pair. I spent some time trying to understand the topology behind the list and eventually I got this diagram for the Oracle Cloud VNC console connection. So we have Oracle Cloud infrastructure and then we have a target cloud instance spinned up. And uh, there's a VNC console connection. We can create it on this target cloud instance in Oracle Cloud. To build the VNC console connection, we need a VNC viewer from our client machine. And actually, we need another machine in the middle, Linux server, for SSH tunneling. So our client machine is going to use VNC Viewer to connect to Linux server on port 5900. And the Linux server is going to create a SSH tunnel to our VNC console. Basically, to our VNC server, which has a VNC console connection to our target cloud instance. That's our basic topology. Let's start to work on step by step. There are lots of reasons why we need VNC consoles. Maybe your instance lost the response. You need troubleshooting on it. Maybe you are using custom image, but when you reboot it, there's no successful login and you have to troubleshoot in from the console. Or maybe you need to edit some configuration files or add a key for your OPC users, etc. etc. But no matter what, we need to do a couple of things before we can create uh, our VNC console connection. We need to install VNC Viewer on our client machine. So you can Google VNC Viewer, you will find the real VNC. You can download the VNC Viewer and uh, install it on your client machine, as I did here. The second thing you need to do, you need to generate the SSH key on your Linux server. So, and then you need to copy the public key, which is going to be used into your console connection. So let's work on that. This is a Linux server we can gonna use in for our SSH connection. The IP is 192.168.2.67. Let's type command. We're gonna use SSH dash keygen to generate our public private RC key pair. So what you need to do is just enter enter and you finish this generation for the key. And you can see the files on the SSH folder you will see the pub extension file which is our key public key located. What do you need to do? Just copy whole scenes. Then you can go back to create console connection. Just paste it in. Then you can create console connection. Wait about um, a minute, then your console connection should be up and running. Then you can copy out the VNC command which you can use in the remote so copy VNC connection for Linux or Macintosh machine you also can have 
serial console connection as well. The command also can be for Windows as well. So we're going to do this, copy VNC connection for Linux. So we're going to paste here. The command here we're going to use, we need to make a small change. So that dash L is a local host and then using port 5900, we're going to change it to 0, .0, .0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0 and then the whole command then you can copy into your Linux server so there was a key fingerprint you will need to confirm since it is from external Say yes, and another has a key fingerprint need to be confirmed. So there's two prompt for those two fingerprint. So the one thing you need to also need to do is you need to make sure the port 5900 has been opened and listening. Yes, it's listening. And also make sure your firewall rule has opened this port for the connection. So right now we have firewall enabled. The easiest way to do that, we can just stop the firewall. So we can tell that it's not active anymore, it's inactive. So the firewall D has been stopped. Now we should be able to make some testing using our, using our VNC connect. So we got the list warning message, it's on encrypted connection from my client machine to VNC server 192.168.2.69 so we can check don't warn me about this again to connect so there's the VNC viewer window opened so it's prompt out the login window so one thing we can test from here is we can reboot the machine right now and then we can see the VNC viewer connection if it's connecting to the console. So based on our topology, our VNC viewer connected to the VNC console. If we reboot target cloud instance, then we should be able to see the console connections output. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect into our remote OPC Ubuntu server and we're going to issue command reboot now you can tell what's happening here this is console connection you can see TIANO core this console and there's error can find command and here is the rebooting process that is our console connection even you don't have SSH connection right now, you're still able to see all the booting process on your VNC viewer, which is can be used to help our troubleshooting your instance issue. That is how you can use VNC viewer to connect in to your Oracle Cloud VNC console connection. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. 
Thanks for watching.